Hey guys, Craig here again, and I'm on the second to last model. Uh, as you can see, I got every single detail down to a T. I literally tried my hardest on this one, and but it, the next one a after this, I will try mass producing as much as possible. But it isn't finished yet, and it's an actual working oil lamp. But this one, I consider like my own job. I literally worked my butt off to make it. I got every detail down. No, except for the cap right here. I, I keep on trying. I actually was able to make this one turn and it's pretty awesome I would say. But yeah, and I got all the lights, openings and everything. I could actually put a candle in this thing and it literally wouldn't catch fire. But the downside is, like I said, it's not the finished model. The finished model is an actual working oil lamp. And I'm still working on it. But the only downside of this one is the fact that it weighs about a good 20 pounds. Okay? So even if I lift it up, like, you can see the light coming off it. I'm still trying to figure out how to do that with the oil lamp. But I am doing it so... You know, uh, and I will mass produce that one if I can. And I am making it out of metal, like actual tungsten steel metal. So it's not going to be that heavy, but it's still going to be pretty heavy when the real model is done. You can actually lift this thing and it's not going to do anything with the, with the cord. Okay. So, uh, but yeah, it took a lot of me trying to find the right wiring for that, um, which I'll attach that cord to the original first model that I worked on eventually too, but yeah, uh, I think Alan Scott would appreciate the fact that I also, do you know what I did as well? I actually made this kind of look like scales, mostly because of what this the star heart aka the batteries actually made out of is um well uh, another living entity that was called yalan gur at one point that was a fellow green lantern of the actual lantern core who didn't have a weakness to the yellow energy but did have weakness to the wood because he became overpowered and a little bit evil but you know i digress um this is the second to last model, and I hope you guys enjoyed it because, like I said, I will try to mass produce this as much as I can and try seeing if I can get people to, because, like, I, I can understand it, like, I don't make that much money myself. So I'm trying to make these so that way it's cheaper for people that want the same thing I do, like actually are big collectors, but don't want to spend like $500 on the actual product itself that is made by DC. So I will try, but I, like I said, I'm not 100% positive on being able to do it. I'll try doing it on Etsy or on Macari, which everyone will allow me to, but I will eventually. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, because this one I consider like my own child. Because it took me, I want to say about a half a month to make this. And like I said, it's about 20 pounds, so <laughs> if you brought this to a comic book convention, don't worry, the, the, the actual last model will be lighter than this, I, and I will promise you that. I will try doing my hardest on that one, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a lovely day.